You got a good story? You start story well, with ladies? I, I just, I know the feeling of like, you know, you're in love with the girl. Oh, here's the line. There's the line. Where is it? Keep the line, uh, Bloomfield. All right, Field East Orange. So let's go into East Orange for this story. All right, all right. Let's make sure. <laughs> wait, let's okay. make sure it's six feet. <laughs> no. Wait, wait. You South Express. A little time travel tunnel. Oh. I think that's split now into like two family or four family. <laughs> he still lives down on Manasquan and I believe he's a uh, volunteer fireman for a long time. Oh. Yeah, he's always on charity things and hmm. yeah, I see it on Facebook. Been very active. Moved to Manasquan, wow. Yeah, long time ago. Oh, what about San Ambrosia? Was it San Ambrosia's yeah. house, one of those houses? Oh, yes, it was. Maybe that one. It might have been. Next I, to that. Oh, was he next to him? What? Was he next to him or he might Next have been. to him or one or two up? One or two up. He became a lawyer, right? Oh, oh Big yeah. Big shot lawyer? Yeah. In Bluefield, I'm sure he moved his, his uh, practice somewhere else. Morse. This is the bottom of Morse Ave. Yep, this is. And, uh, look at the clock. What did we call this center or stores? Was there a name for this? Well, Ernie's was there. Yeah, Ernie's was that little corner store. But you remember <coughs> Skippy Denton's sister on the hairdresser place here? We used to get high in it. <laughs> There's two stores in. No, I don't remember that. Um, and it was... Um, and there was a couple stores here, I don't remember the door, but you don't remember her, she was kind of a pretty lady. Uh, vaguely. And we used to get high in there. I remember there was a sub store. What was yeah, that, that was where the coffee What was that was. called? Mm, I don't remember the name, and then the supermarket. Super Subs or Subs Unlimited? Or? And this was the hairdresser place. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. We used to hide weed in there. And that's where we got high. Wow, it's a pretty big cafe. Yeah, it is. It's open too, huh? You know, there's a couple families from me that lived in their houses there. Hmm. I remember Maureen Regan, girl that I liked in uh, school. Wasn't that Glen Ridge girl? No, she actually, I don't know if it turned to Glen Ridge down there, but she was in like maybe the fourth house down on the yeah, right. Yeah, I think it was still blue for a bit. This was a, this was always like a quick check or a... Yeah, more of a little shop right. Little shop little right thing. Shop right type store. It's like it's closed now. I remember if you went to the back of the parking lot, there was a little way to get into the fence to go out to whatever the next street is that Seals lived on. What's Corbett's? It? Yeah. Well, Corbett was the street that shot off. Okay. Or that street that went parallel to Carter. Okay. I forget what the name of that was. Yeah. Is. So you want to go up Morris or go up to the next uh, Colonial Terrace? Your and go call. back. I say Colonial Terrace. Me too. That's down there. No, that's Fulton. I meant Fulton. But you want to go no, up no. north? No, I'll go up Fulton. Sorry. Sar Street. I meant Fulton. Sar Street. Just for the heck of it, yeah. Go past Stuffy Panzer's house. Yeah. You take yeah. a long walk, dude. Making a video. You've been here a long time? Uh, since 91. Oh, we, we left in 71. Yeah. It's changed a lot. 
it's, it's coming back up again. It's still a beautiful place, a lot of the yeah. houses. Well, it was a lot of zombie houses and stuff around. Yeah. You know, there was like four or five of them at one point. You know, here and, and in Bluefield and right in Fort Yeah. Well, we just moved over after that in 71, moved to Evergreen Avenue, just a couple <laughs> streets down in Bluefield. So what stores used to be here when you were here? Well, this was like always a little soup market. Around the corner on the end, the very end, was Ernie's. Uh, it was like a little newspaper joint. Candy store. Candy, Candy store. store. Right, every neighborhood had one. Yeah, this was the first, whatever that coffee joint is, was a uh, was a sub shop. But that was actually as the years got on. That was more when we were in Bloomfield. But then there was a, a, a hairdresser joint, the second store in. I can't remember what was on the corner. Was it a butcher in there one time? Was it dry cleaners at one time? Yeah, I do remember a butcher yes, now. Dry, and a dry right. cleaner, yeah. I think the clock was the dry cleaner. It's the corner. Yeah, that clock wasn't up there then. Yeah, I think it was. Was it up there when I we think were so. kids? No, no. They rebuilt no? this like about 15 years ago. Oh, okay. Some kind of grant. I imagined it. Ah. Uh, well, I remember the cleaners. Was, the I guy that sure. owns that building told me one time he fixed it, but, I, but it doesn't seem to be running. So I don't know what's going we, we lived on the very top, two, two uh, houses in from Midland. Went to a holy name school. Went to that church. Uh, You're right. Yeah. Like the old days. Yeah. yeah. A lot of houses around now. They're all gone. Yes. Yeah. But still, a lot of nice trees, a lot of nice sidewalks. Well, you know, it's bigger than East Orange. Yeah. Building a good section. Well, they did two years ago. We just stopped there. And now we went back again to talk to the people. Who's the, who's the fireman in the neighborhood? Oh, you see a sticker over there, right? Yeah. And yeah, my brother's a fireman in West Orange. Yeah. Huh. All right. All right. All right, gentlemen. Have a good day. Good Thanks. Day. Nice talking to you. Somebody we might have known. Uh, this corner here? Yeah, I can't quite recall. Well, I think that'd be nice. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think so? No, well, we knew so many people. Yeah. Because that's the way life was back then. Yeah, everybody you knew your neighborhood, you know? A lot of the sidewalk even back then was like this. There was always... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd always have well, that you one You know why, too? It's to because be of the roots that do on this. Your, on your bike. Yeah. The big old trees. I like that mailbox. Oh yeah, very nice. So this is the beautiful Fulton Street. This is our wow. street. Folks. Look at this. Looking up from Carteret. And it was a long truck. Looking up from Carteret. Now what is that white house as we look up on the top? That must be uh, on the bend there on the right as you bend to the left. In other words, oh wait, no, but it's like the corner house that they're painting right now. No, no, is that on the right? No, I think that's on the right on Fulton Street. As you, oh, okay, does Fulton Street bend to the right up? I mean, to the left up there, yeah, it does, but that's so that's the that's house beyond, on the right, that's beyond Colonial Street, just at the top of Colonial Terrace, yeah. it's, it's beyond Colonial, just beyond it. Oh, okay, it doesn't seem like it would be. Because that would be where it bends, right? I guess you're right. Uh, I'm guessing that looks like the front. It's got the dormers and the front porch. Yeah. This here was Stephanie Pounds' house. 42? I believe it was. Where do you see the 42? In here. You can't oh, see okay. it. okay. I think that's where it was. Wouldn't yeah. you love to buy a house here and just... Oh, without, without a Kind doubt. of like retire to this area. More or less. And I remember we're still in East. Uh, we're still in Bloomfield at this point. We're going up yeah. to East Orange. I remember this house. The people that were in there were from. It. Yeah, who was that? I don't recall names, but hmm. we might back up a bit. Just a little bit. 
back is hurting. So this is an East Orange. Uh, this is a Bloomfield Street sign, yeah, Lennox. I know it was halfway between there. Yeah, because you're, you're right, the street signs turn colors. Uh-oh, it's the garbage picker. Sees something he wants. A little refrigerator. These, this type of house was so common, is so common here. This. All right, so what do we got here? Fulton and and uh, Lennox. Now we knew some people on the right there. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Everything's fine, yeah. We're just making a video down in East Orange right now. Please, okay? All right, bye-bye. There's my sponsor you had there. Now, who was the family? The big guys and girls. Zibby came to babysit for us. Yes, that was... Um, Flanagan's? No, no, not Flanagan's. Uh, they're actually right up here. Oh, is that the next street? I thought it was here on the yes, right. They're here. There was a family here on the right yes, that we there knew. Yes, And that was... Um, Cardone? No. I remember there was a family here. I just have no idea. Yeah, what their name can't was. remember their name. That we kind of Zibby knew. Zibby and all, because it was an Irish name. No. Yeah, because Jimmy. the girl in my class was Mary McGuire. She McGuire. lived in this house. Okay. She's a big girl. Which one? Twenty. The yellow one. The big white house. Oh, okay. And the reason I remember is because we were in a party one night. And it, for young kids, as everybody on this video can can, can uh, tell, can remember when you used to play like these kissing games. You were like 11 years old, 12, 13, 13, and it was I forget, Mister Make or something like that. And I remember it was at her house in the kitchen, and yet I forget how dumb the game was. But like, spin some, a bottle. It was like spin a bottle. It was some stupid. But it was at her house. That's why I remember her. And, but she you know, you'd be all excited if you get picked to have to kiss somebody. It was like some stupid game. But back then it was great because it was, you know, Gail, if you could see this, I remember you were at Gail Murray, and I was like, oh, I hope that it lands on her and I get her. You know. mm, Plus, nice. by the way, let me just say this real quick. We were at the corner. We didn't actually see it, but it was right before you opened this whole video up that there was one from the school. I was a crossing guard. And then Gail Murray, this girl that I just fell in love with at 14, you know, I was thinking of getting married. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Your first love. And she gave me a ring. She sent it in the mail, I believe. And this little ring. And I was like, just heels over, whatever that was. Head over heels. Head over heels. And so now that I got the ring, I'm a crossing guard on the corner of Fulton and Midland, right up where we parked. And then I knew she was coming I had to go home that way, walk home from school, only in school. I was so scared now that she gave me a ring that I actually ran off my post. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I shared this with her, I'm not sure, when I had the reunion, but I was so scared because, you know, wow, she gave me a ring, what am I supposed to do? So I ran and I hit, like went through the woods and went home the other way. I got in trouble for running off my post. <laughs> I blew it, Gail, I'm sorry. You were gonna be my wife. And I blew it because I was in love and I didn't know what. And plus the ring made my finger turn green after a week. Oh. So anyway, I love you, Snow Gale. It wasn't real. God bless you. That was my Solar story. Oh, that's a nice story, yeah. yeah. So you think she might have mailed the ring to you? I think it was mailed. Or I'm maybe not, a, maybe a Valentine's you, note with it or something. Well, I don't know. Was there a note, Cal? Maybe yeah. Valentine's well, Day. Hey, Cal, if it wasn't a note, you owe me a note. No, I mean, like, maybe it came with, like, she hand-delivered it for uh, Valentine's. Yeah. I don't know. Was there in a the warranty mail? on it, Cal? <laughs> in the mail. <laughs> How'd you know my address? <laughs> Were you stalking me? Yeah. Anyway, I'll get back to you on that one, Gail. All right? So you ran off your post. I was scared. I'll tell you, I was sweating. That's what a woman will do to you, man. I'll tell you. Lose good, your job. Good-looking woman <laughs> like that would do it, Gail. Uh, ran right off you. your post, the hell with that. Anyway, she married and uh, she had two beautiful men and boys turned into men. And so actually, she works not too far from me now. And I did invite her out for lunch, but then I kind of screwed her at that all up too. Anyway. 
You know, I always had that trouble too when I was younger. Oh yeah, you got a good story. You start story well, with ladies. I, I just I know the feeling of like you know you're in love with the girl. Oh, here's the line. There's the line. Very good. This is the line. Uh, Bloomfield. All right, feel these starns. So let's go into these starns for this story. All right, all right. Let's make sure. Wait, let's okay. make sure it's six feet. <laughs> no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't come by measuring with me. All right, I want to hear. Anyway, story. no, I'm just saying I identify with you. You're in love with the the girl back then. You're a kid, and uh, you just. But when the time came to like meet up, you were kind of like, whoa, you know, like <laughs> it was. It was a nice thought and very. But then you're so afraid that you just. You know, you don't know what to do because I wonder if that had anything to do with growing up with just all, all guys, you know, like just our family just had boys. We didn't know, we didn't really know what girls were, what that species was. You know, I've talked to Joey about that, our brother Joe, that like not having a dad and he's starting special like that. We didn't, uh, there's probably a lot of questions that maybe we wanted to ask. You know, who do we have to ask? Yeah. You know, like we didn't have no direction in that, in that area. Yeah, no sisters at that point. But I mean, it, just boys. I mean that, yeah, and no, and but young I mean kids. even that the guy would talk to another guy about a child. Yeah, a boy would talk to dad. What do sure. You, you know. What should I do? Yeah. Even as I turned fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. You know. You like a girl, and you don't know what the right, next move know? is to make. So I to just make. have to assume this is what I should do. Yeah. You know, I went into the deep water on my own. Yeah. Maybe listen to a friend or two. That yeah, who yeah, knows what yeah, they that knew. Was high on <laughs> LSD. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. What would you do? Yeah. Oh, this is what I did. It worked out fine. Uh, maybe everyone feels that too. Even yeah. if they have sisters and stuff, when they're kids, that that first love, you just you, you, it's so it's so exhilarating, yet so much fear and excitement involved that it, you just you don't know what to do. You know, you just what if you have to hold their hand? I remember going to dance, you know, I remember booking out sick on a dance because, you know, a holy name <laughs> dance. Sick. Yeah. You know, like we were supposed Wait. to do a dance in school and it just, I didn't show up that night. I just couldn't, I couldn't bear to like, you know, have to deal with having to dance and hold a girl's hand and, you know. You weren't running a dance, you was just, you were invited to dance. It was, it was part of the school. Oh. It was sick. like an assembly. So I was sick that day. In holy I, name? Yeah. Oh, not to interrupt our personal uh, talk our here. Personal stories. Stories. Remember this? It was a big dirt lot. I do there. remember. This. We used to cut through, go over to Laurel. Ave. That's correct. Yeah. That's Laurel Ave over there. There was the Harrisons. Remember, the father was a fireman. Yes, that was up the street. And East the Orange? mother was friends with mom. Be Beverly, Beverly, maybe? Beverly. Harrison? Harrison was. And they were up the couple street. couple of girls, on the left. yeah, up the street a little ways. That Johnny was. Johnny DePietro. DePietro's were over there? Yes. That was like a little weird, like getting out of your zone there when you went over into wow. Laurel. Yeah. Like, where are you? Oh, it Laurel. Land. It was kind of daring to go through that. Yeah, and when you were a kid, you. I wonder why it's never been built here. Is it somebody owned this property or part of the, since it's on the border of East Orange Bloomfield, maybe? Yeah, I think too. So. Yeah, it might know. be the state even or the county. It's like the street just never went through here. Yeah. It, this may be part of the street. It might be. That for some reason they just never Because yeah, it's cut completed. both sides for the properties of people that live here. Yeah. I guess it's. It's in junction where it's so cut weird. to the sidewalks. Yeah. Huh. Well, so anyway, so was... Heiner lived here, right? Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's Heiner's house. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep. No, I said. Oh, oh yeah. And and the the uh, Ziggy lived in that White House, the second one down or the first. Okay. And I do not remember the last name. But wait, weren't they on the right? I. I don't think so. I okay. think they're on the same side, but I might be wrong. But they had girls and oh, yeah. boys. I don't remember the boys. There was a Tim. Really? Freeman? No. Well, Free Tommy Freeman was actually on. Freeman. There, Tommy Freeman was actually near the Yates's. Okay. Yeah. Well, this had Ziggy and then her sister McCoffrey? also. No. Her sister also babysat for yeah, us. Yes. Both two. of them. 
And you know, it's funny, you mentioned Spin the Bottle. I remember her, I think it was Zibby, would play Spin the Bottle with us That's when it. she was babysitting us. Really? Yeah, one of them girls was like... You got some kisses from her? Yeah. You dog. That bottle came my was way. She was she older than you? Hell yeah. She was cute too, one of those 60s girls, you know? She was I like, remember that. She was like teenage in like 1969. She was like 17 or... 18. Oh, there was a David, Zibby, uh, David, Dave, big, big guys. I remember now. I do. I remember Dave. Maybe Maureen, Zibby, David, more, more. More. Just came to me. The Moors. That's it. Okay, right. so here we are, Netherwood and Fulton. He's back in East Arm. Another big tree cut down. Folks, this is ooh, in the little white wall. I don't remember that, but I remember that. Really? That's been there for oh, 50, that's been 50 there years. Forever. This is right here is for John Hagen lived. 64? That was John Hagen. So that one or the white one here. No, it was that one. It was absolutely that one, 64. So we're actually coming up on 50 years from moving. I when, yeah, when we thought about that. 50. 50. Was it? And I, you know, this was here back then. I mean, it was that high. Probably. It might have not been that high, but I remember it being there. I remember Hagen's hitting that high. with my bike. <laughs> <laughs> You remember building the go-karts and coming down here, oh, yes, down Kenmore? Yes, yes. And it seemed, didn't it seem like a huge hill? Oh, it was, oh, so it's got some steepness. Not really. You don't think so? No, no, I mean Kenmore. Oh, oh, Kenmore. Yes, in fact, that's where we did go down. And I think I lost a wheel or two on one of my chopper bikes that we made. We put the extenders on the, on the front porch. Yes, yes. And we'd go down, this seemed like such oh, a no, steep yeah. hill. Yeah, there ain't much of a, it, 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 it straightens out pretty quick. Yeah. And uh, this was, uh, well, did you want to go down to the uh, McCormick's or? Had the Lewenbergers down there on the left. Yeah, on the corner. Joan Lewenberger and pa Paula, Chris, her father. And then the McCormicks were down there on the right corner, on the right, where that car just passed. Right? And then the Yateses were up there on that section. All right. Back up top. You know what, that big white house, that, that ain't even, it's up on that south, no. It's a, it's a second house in our neighborhood. Wow, you're right. I thought that was, I thought the street curved to the left, it curves to the right. Shows you how I much I realized that was up there. And that house, you're right, houses. it's huge. Boy, that house is small. And that is the back of the house. Yeah, that is the back. I was looking at a garage that I thought was a front porch. That's a pretty amazing. I could have sworn this street went to the, yeah, curved to the left, but now I'm saying I didn't figure it that way. Wow, my my memory is shot. <laughs> no, it's just when we were little, though. You know, yeah. It was, when we were little, we probably never even thought of it that way. We. Yeah. It's just when you look at the size difference. That's a big house. Our roof is so steep. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, this house is empty upstairs. I wonder if it's empty. No, they got a barber's cabinet. That room is empty, the second floor. Wow. Oh, there's the car going into Helmsiders. Huh. There's another guy. He might have been pointing and saying, hey, there's people in the driveway. Hmm. That's a beautiful house. Though. It is, it really is. I love just the little details, like that thing Whatever that thing that is. Round thing? Yeah, in the center there. I wonder if that's stained glass in the middle. No. It might be a vent of 
of some sort. I like how the porch goes around the side. Yeah, big wraparound porches. They built houses to last, I'll tell you that. They oh, built yeah. some beautiful, that one too has that big round thing. Oh yeah, same building. Even on that big wraparound porch. Look at that little out to window sit inside there. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah, they took a lot of time to build details. They had the details. Well, you remember, I, right, I'm sure you have. We live in this back there. This site is one of the five most wanted cities in the country. It was East Orange? Rated, yeah. Mm, I believe it. Yeah, it was, was a great place to live. Probably this still is. Good. I mean, this, look at this. This one is going to look like. It's going to look nice. Here's the color. I see they missed a the, missed the little piece there. Fourth one down. There's a little white showing. See where they're painting? Yeah. You can see where they missed it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's my eye. That house is huge. Yeah, that's a big house. Look at the size of it. That's the crab apple. The one that would grab us from the back from the back wall. Is it? Yeah. Is that in line with it? Yeah, it is. She was only three houses down. It has to be, because that's in line that's with that it. back porch. That's in line with it, you're right. That's the famous Man, she crab lived in a apple. Big house. No wonder she was crazy. Yeah, she always had to clean wanted it. kids to. <laughs> she wanted to take kids and kidnap them and bake the them in their, in their oven. Here we are again. That was our long walk. And this house was yeah. That was the land's house, house for a long time. Mm. They were there probably about 15 years. Mm. Yeah, 10, 15 years. Hey. Look at where they cut the, that must have been from a storm when they cut that uh, branch off right there. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's a huge tree on our property. Mm. No, is that Barnett's? So, quick walk up to... Uh, let's go wherever you want. Well, let's go up to Midland Ave, catch the uh, Yikes house and... Uh, Deep? Deep? Johnny Deep? Right Johnny? Is that his name? Right on the corner. Not Johnny Depp. Deep. Johnny Depp. Yes. Whoa. Almost. He was almost Johnny Depp. He was only one E away from being Johnny Depp. Yeah. Right. I mean from being Johnny Depp. One E away from being Johnny Depp. Barnett. Yeah. Now, he lived there with his parents, right? He wasn't the owner. Yeah, he, no, he lived with his parents. He was like a teenager. You I know, think. we were talking about Ike's house on the Zoom last weekend. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, look at that part my, that part of my porch. Yeah. Great yard. Oh, he, they were here in this front, in this corner house? Yep, that was up. Deep, I mean depth. There's the Ike's house with that wall. Yeah. You go over and get a picture of it. Um, yeah, we could. Look at how nice Jeep's house is. I think my friend lived down there too. Uh, I, well, I don't think I know. One of those houses down there. Um, McCauley. One of them might have been McCauley. No, it wasn't. Wasn't McCauley? I thought McCauley's were on. Oh, no, you're right. McCauley was the brick one right there. Yeah. That was McCauley. That was McCauley. This was... Did this Ike was have Ike. the... Uh, let's ask me if it's still there. This the was pool. Ike. They had a built-in pool. Yeah, let's ask him. Let's ask him. And this, these... Uh, this was McNeil. Oh, look at a pitch McNeil, on... McNeil, that's who I meant. Look at, yeah. a pitch, look at a pitch on that house. Wow. One of those was McNeil. I think that one that they're working on. How you doing? Hi. Hey, is this your house? Yeah. Hey, how's it Hey, how's it going? Right in that house, though. What the little brown house is? Yeah, the second house. Okay. 50 years ago. How many years? 50. We just called the town. 50? Yeah, I remember the Yikes was there. How long have you been? 72. Oh, we moved out 71. Who was here? 
So you bought it. Minority on the block. We was the only one well, no, Jeffrey Barnett. Was Jeffrey was here. From his grandma. Yeah. Yeah. How he's long have you been gone? Oh, they've been gone. Jeffrey's down at the, uh, well, he's running the port now. His father gave him the job. North? Yeah. Oh, he's driving a rig now. Yeah, he's a head boy down at the port. His father yeah. was running it first, but then he took over. You still have the in-ground pool back yeah, we there? Were no, I filled, filled it up. You filled it up? Uh, yeah. yeah, there was an in-ground pond, a bridge, you go over yeah, the back. Yeah, a yeah. bridge? Oh, that's it right, remember? They used no, to have I the never, cookhouse there I don't think I ever now. got back there. There's a there. bridge and a well, and the parties in a big well. My mother, used, my, I remember that now. My sister used to have big parties back there. Yeah, now, because we are talking Antonio. last week about it. You know? Yeah, my mother and my sister had big parties back there. Nah, I forgot all about yeah. that. Yeah, when we moved here, well, I had six sisters. So we Must have been. Oh, okay, you like us. We had seven, yeah, we seven had boys. parties back there. We had hooked it up with <laughs> lights. The, the walk, the bridge, the water was running under. I remember all that, Pete. And the barbecue pit we built up that was on the back, like, I guess it was like a fireplace. People used to go back there and get warm with, but we made a pit uh -huh. out of it. <laughs> so they cooked it all on the grill. You're the first. And it was a baby one in the back, brother one. We still cooked hot dogs on it. It's still nice, back there, both nice. of them. Right now, tax is going for maybe new three houses between sixteen five for me because I got the land. Wow! Now one of these houses was trap cell. I oh forget. yeah, four trap cell, this trap cell. Oh, one of the houses. Yeah, it was the big house with the black roof. That's the Asian. Oh no, no, it was the little one. Yeah, I think it was the little one. Yeah, with the, the, the black one. shutter. Yeah. My friend just moved out of here about. This is his mother. They moved out about. Almost about nine years. Did you know? Um, the guy that owned the dirt club, Johnny Schroeder, they were, it was like one of these houses on the left before the school. Are you talking about the, the one before the school? I think the, it was the only the one in that one gate? You mean that big school. gate? Yeah, yeah. The Asians live in that one where the big gate is yeah. and the red road, red bushes and yeah. all that? The house sits to the back? Yeah. That's the gate. He owned the joint right there on, in Bluefield near Wasseston the Center. Dirt club. Yeah, it was that, Okay. That crazy punk the dirt club. club. Yeah. First it was Del You know what? Okay, I know you're Johnny talking Dirt. About. Johnny Schroeder. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you got the bakery here. And the place you're talking about is right down like in the middle there. Uh, what was the chance of us running to a guy that lived here in 72? Since 72. Hmm. That's only the good man upstairs. Wow. Hey, it's the Yateses. Uh, we We're went cops. around the neighborhood. <laughs> we went around the neighborhood, like looking at all the old houses and people. And why do you, why do you think of your old house? It's small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't seem that way, right? When you yeah. Up. You remember? Uh, you remember Rich, right? My brother Rich. Yeah. Richie Smith. Hi, Richie. Kathy Yates. <laughs> and Mrs. Yates. How are you? The Bolands. Jimmy Boland. Who was the people that lived right here? Was there a loop? The kid's name? Fleming. 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 Yeah. Fleming. That's right. And you said the Browns, the Browns lived there in the Purple House, and then the McCormicks there. Who? Oh. Cyberson. No, I forgot. I mean, it rings a bell, but. Cyberson, yeah, I remember the name now. Maybe Eric. Eric, Eric. Might have been. Yeah, Eric was the oldest boy, and Art. Art. Yeah, Arthur was over there. Because Art used to hang around with John. I went with John to school, but the foreman's and. Art, yeah, Art was here or there, right? Wait, I have to get your picture to send to Art. And how about this house right here? That one you can tell. Uh, I don't remember that. Oh, I thought Milton's moved into the uh, Boland cell. The corner was Thomas Freeman. Is this Thomas Freeman on the corner? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Thomas Mark.
Why don't you tell me a little bit about McCormick's house? John's mother let me stay on the third floor. I want to say, though, that um, on the other side here, on the right as you go in Kenmore, yeah. when I was a kid, while we were still young, there was a fellow doing work on a car, and it was up on Jack's. The guy was under the car. And we were kids out here. I don't know if we were, no, we weren't, but we were somewhere out on the street here, and we heard some commotion. And the guy was underneath the car, and the jack broke, and the car fell down and killed him. Oh, and I remember horrible. Couldn't Where? Believe it. This yellow house down here? No, it was right on the side of oh, John's. Oh, on on, around the corner. On the side around. of John's house, right here. Wow. And we were so, like, as little kids, we couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, that's we terrible. Like, what the hell happened? And they were telling were us. Were you guys that, there when you Yeah, we were there. Like, oh, my God. Well, we were around here. But hey, look. Oh, no. Oh, I thought. Oh, it's a squirrel. No, that's a no. That's a that's a rat. No, oh no, it's just somebody's no, toy. Oh, it's a toy. I was trying to figure what the heck that was. Yeah, I didn't know what it was either. Look, that's, that's a, a horrible story. Yeah, so they like told us to get away, and it was really, really tragic. You know, traumatic for us kids. I bet. Yeah, it was right there. That's why you should always, always use jack stands. Yeah, this was like back. Never in the go under your car with just a jack, because the jack. Thing. Will I, fail. I just always think it was 132 his house, but it's 32. 32, yeah. No, no, I figure out why. Because it was Patty Sheldon's number. Her house was 132. Oh. Oh. Figure out more. Hmm. I'm just going to walk down here to uh, Kenmore and just take a little video of, well, the Lewenberger's home and. This seemed like such a big hill when we were kids. We would come down on our bikes or our go-karts that we would make and uh, usually we'd wind up crashing right about at that tree. Okay, looking for the Creeders house. Like, yeah, I think this was another family here that we knew here. But this Maybe was the Creeders, I think. Creators. You're right. Yep. Tommy and uh, what was Zonk, what? Suzanne and Karen. Suzanne was a year old. I think Suzanne was a little younger than me. Oh, Karen yeah. was maybe a year older. Zonk was, was Suzanne. Here was uh, John Harper and Nestus. Crow Nestus. Nestus was one of these. I was houses. talking to Gary Nestus in person about two years and ago. One of these was Vinnie Palma. I forget which yeah. house it was. Poor Vinnie, he passed away young. Oh, mm. I think, was this the Nestus here? Yeah, this was in that, one of these two. And Danny Smith, the cop that got shot, was here. That kid got oh, yeah. really. I think it was one of these. That guy looks Hi. He looks familiar though. We not like him. Yes. Should ask him who he is. Okay, so we took our little walk around the neighborhood. What do you think, Rich? I want to say good night and uh, good day. And if we were boring, too bad. If we were entertaining, hope you enjoyed it. And <laughs> uh, lots of kudos to my kid brother, as I like to call him here. He's the best. I love him. I love you too, buddy. Come back also, uh, Pete. You want a little pitch for your... Uh... Yeah, let us know what you think of this video, please. Uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down in YouTube and uh, comment. And let us know if you want us to check out any other areas. Right. In East Orange or Bloomfield. Uh, go back and maybe we can do another video another, another, another day, another time. Uh, another time travel. To Bloomfield, maybe Watsessing, Watsessing Park. You could also call 1 800 Rich <laughs> Pete Hollywood. All right. Okay. Love this, you. This is Pete Smith and Richie Smith saying so long and be safe.